Red carpet's out for you. You're in the Murph tonight. White Rock tomorrow. Andy Town after that. They're treating you like a bloody jewel. You came through Amsterdam, right? I'm not having that in the car. I'm not having that with us when we reach a block. Don't stand up, for God's sake. All out? Out and listening, Chief Constable. And not hearing anything that matters. Mm. There's nothing on the confidential phone. I had our hopes there. And if you'll excuse me, sir, the army's wasting their bloody time. When we're back to house searches and random pickups, then that's, that's a victory of a sort for the other side. You're right. Intelligence scores, not foot soldiers on the pavements. Anything, Mike? Just a year's community relations, galloping smoke. <laughs> they write everything down, these soldiers. Every damn thing. Have you seen this? West Belfast in full-scale riot, and the log reports the calling out of the bomb squad for a suspect package in the Dublin Road. An Amsterdam duty-free bag and a bottle of scotch. Let's hope they didn't blow it. He's back. Back out there. Back in his bloody ghetto. <laughs> Welcome home, Billy. And it was well done. It was good. We've hurt them, and there's their pain for us all to see. And we're going to keep you safe, Billy, because every day they look for you and don't find you, we hurt them some more. On your way, Billy. It was well done. The Prime Minister has instructed me to put a man in there with nothing to think about but Danby's assassin. To put an agent into the Falls Road is to give him a death sentence. Does the Prime Minister understand that? The place is quite tribal. They know who belongs and who doesn't. And the Ministry is to find the man and put him in on the ground. It's dangerous and it's an irrelevance. No course of action that might bring the murderer of a member of this government to justice is an irrelevance. Now, the PM is insisting... And handled by my people? Handled by London, since Belfast is so dismissive of the PM's wishes. I hope you have a good flight, General.
quite late. He's on final approach. I brought the file on him. Oh, give me a digest. I can't read in this bloody light. His name is Brown. Harry James. Rank captain, age 34. Uh, born Porter Down, Northern Ireland. We'll be landing in five minutes, sir. Service UK, Catrick, Plymouth, Tidworth, MOD. Service overseas, Cyprus, Borneo, Aden, Oman, Berlin. Mentioned in dispatches, MC. What's the military cross citation? Oman. He lived for three months as a native in the Arab Quarter there, supplying information about terrorist operations. As a result, important arrests were made. Constant risk of certain torture and death if discovered. And that's the lad we want. And a nervous breakdown for his pains. Now well, that's history now. There's a place out in the country we're going to, about an hour's run. Uh, nobody's actually told me what all this is about yet. Well, that'll keep better until the morning. Bit formidable, isn't it? Ministry picked it up a few years ago. Delusions of grandeur. It used to be a convent school till they ran out of money. Kids all died of pneumonia, more likely. Now you'll be wondering why you're here. Um, come on in, find out. Uh, my wife doesn't know where I am. I didn't have time to call her before the flight. Could I possibly phone her from here? No, it's not necessary. Someone from Brigade will have told her where you are. Come on in, meet Bannon. You've read the Official Secrets Act, Harry. Uh, what you see in here in this room is covered by that act. Um, we've seen the file on the Oman experience. And we need a man now from outside the normal channels uh, for work in a most sensitive area. Yesterday afternoon, the Prime Minister demanded the staging of this mission. And I should tell you, uh, quite frankly, uh, that it was against the advice of political colleagues and local experts. Uh, that advice has not been heeded. Prime Minister wants a man in the falls of Belfast, in the heart of Provo land. It will be a highly secure operation mounted from London and not from Belfast. The agent will have the express and only task of listening for any word on the identity of the man who killed Henry Danby. Of course, the day-to-day uh, -day intelligence special branch activities in this direction will continue in Belfast. Uh, but our agent will be quite divorced from that. Their infiltration capability is drastically scaled down, and anyway, they plead that kind of work's too dangerous. I won't minimize the danger, Harry. The IRA shoot the intelligence men they lay their hands on. They torture them, they hood them, and they shoot them. Uh, but we've got to have the man who killed Danby.
Well, I'll try it. It's a high risk, Harry. They got one of ours a few months ago. It wasn't very nice. I said yes. I'll try it. <laughs>